We've got winter, we got spring all at the same time across Kentucky. Front is doing its dirty work, and boy, this is some pretty amazing stuff. It's also a very active weather day when you look at the Max Track Live Doppler. Lots of stuff going on here. Most of what you're seeing is heavy rain. We've got some thunderstorms going on across the south. Little bit of a mix is starting to rear its ugly head again just above the Ohio River, and we'll see that dropping south. But again, most of what you see here is just heavy rain. But we'll focus down here a little bit more to the south where you're seeing the lightning strikes come up. We lost the radar display, but there are some pretty decent thunder showers now going across eastern Pulaski, getting ready to move into Laurel County, southern part of Rock Castle County. A little pea sized hail with some of these storms. Heavy rain been ongoing, and you may see some wind gusts with these that'll push 40 miles an hour. If we give it just another 20 seconds or so we'll see the sweep come in here and as it does you'll get an idea of where these thunder showers are but new lightning strikes up there around Mount Vernon back toward McKee but again that clustering just south of Highway 80 so again you see the line right at the Laurel and Pulaski County line so that is where we're seeing a strong thunderstorm that's in progress as we look to the northeast there would also have been some rain there flood watches up for just about the entire area some of the counties north of 64 not included in the flood watch but it's still been raining hard and with this flood watch we're talking about low water crossings certainly are going to be a place you need to take aware of uh, poor drainage areas. Uh, we've seen a lot of water come down and we're at the time of year where most everything that falls is able to run off because plants have gone dormant. And so again, two inches of rain, which you're seeing here off the Kentucky Mesonet, that's a lot of water to put down. So again, ponding on the roads, certainly an issue. You see those numbers taper off some as you head to the southeast and also as you head up to the north. But again, Lexington so far at the Mesonet site is two inches of water. Same in Winchester. Tonight, there are huge temperature swings and lots of water to go with it. Tomorrow, the temperature swings cold. Could be a few rogue snow showers out there. The eight day, the cold spell that we have eases as we head toward the start of the winter season, which is officially on Saturday. Now, with the threat for a little wintry mix, this is the key value. This is our, our future track look at pavement temperatures getting into tomorrow. You see, for most of us, the pavement temperatures never drop below freezing. So we may have some stuff falling but I don't think we'll see any significant issues from that. The area of low pressure itself is moving right up into Kentucky. There is your warm front and it is dramatic. Good snows on the northern and western flanks. We've got tornadoes going on across the south. And again, with that area of low pressure passing right over us, thunder showers obviously are happening. By midnight, that low is moving across southeast Kentucky. The winds turn to the north. There is one more backlash band of snow showers coming through tomorrow morning. Just a little taste, a little touch of winter, and then the cold air just settles in for us Tuesday going on into Wednesday. So that's your bottom line. And talking about that temperature swing, this is amazing. Winter across the north, northern Kentucky right around freezing. Barberville is 64. That is incredible. Most of us, though, it's just a cold, miserable rain out there. 39 right now at the Bluegrass Airport. We've picked up just under two inches of rain so far today. Flood watch, periods of heavy rain, some thunder will be mixed in across the south. Wintry mix possible late across the north. We're in the low 30s. The light wintry mix ends, a mainly cloudy day tomorrow, breezy and cold. Highs just in the 30s. Boy, that is brisk. Wednesday, we're seeing temperatures in the mid 30s as well. Low 40s by the time we get you into Thursday, near 50 Friday. Start of winter on Saturday is in the upper 40s and it looks dry going into Christmas Eve. I like that. We need to dry out. We, need to, we will need to dry out, certainly. <laughs> and you. freeze. Yeah. Yeah. We, we'll try to avoid that. Tis the season. <laughs>